there guys, welcome back to another episode of Republica in Spain. And we are back and we will be winding time again. Alright guys. Um yeah. I wanna redo that. Like, seriously, I wanna redo this because like um I kinda saw the future again and I was just looking up everything and I saw that we definitely do not win this this situation and I believe it's mostly because of my stupid pig-headedness pig and declaring one of the Yugoslavians. I didn't realize how tough the Yugoslavians are. Like, seriously, they are tough people. They fight with an iron class, with an iron fist and everything. I mean, they can just stand up to the, to the Russians who are really, they shouldn't be able to stand up to the Russians, but they can stand up to the Russians, they can stand up to anyone. And, well, we have to finish them off if we ever want to uh, move on, so... Let me start doing some of this. Also, I think I'm going to start managing my economy a little bit better because this is starting to annoy me how much the computer keeps not wanting to manage everything the way I like it. So, we're going to get that. We're going to get this right about there. Okay, there we go. Can we push for this? There we go. All balanced the way I like it. That way we can have everything I like. Okay. We're also going to make some, um, can we make some ships? Naval sea line defense. Hmm. Let's see. Let's build some ships. I want to get some transport ships. Uh, give me like two cereals. No, no, no. We need about three parallels. If we can do that, can we do that? In about another couple days. Okay. So, yes. When we have the opportunity, we are going to get that. And what I'm going to do, though, first off, is I'm going to try to make sure that my friends over here, they finish off the Yugoslavians. Okay. We have to finish off Yugoslavia, and then we can start moving on to Germany. Even though I believe... Even though I seriously believe that Germany is, like, really weak right now, they can somehow recover from, like, being halfway invaded to, like, right about here, and then just, like, push everyone back. It's all mostly because of these guys right here, because they just, like, did a massive push. Like, just, just massive. So, we're gonna hope that the uh, Russians get their, get their, like, troops in order and everything, because we're gonna need them to crush through the stupid Yugoslavians, and then we can go start... Hey, nuclear physics! We're finally inventing nuclear physics tree. Okay, consumer goods. Yeah, it's wasted on consumer goods. Well, it's not really wasted. It's just because I don't like this constant switch back and forth between, like, the game wants to do. Like, oh, yes, we have no more supplies, but it's okay. Oh, wait, we have no more supplies here anymore, but it's okay. Like, seriously, game, I know. I know what you're trying to do, but I can, I can do this for myself. Eesh. Okay, and let's see. Now, since we're done with that, let's get back to industry. I'm definitely more of an industry, guys, people. Like, if there's one thing I always do, if I'm definitely playing, like, another nation, is I want to always build up your industry. I think this is just a general rule of stat. A, eh, general rule of thumb. Always try to build up your in industry, because if you build up your industry, you'll have everything. Now, let's see. Germ Germany is obviously doing its Germany thing. It's just kind of chilling. Uh, Yugoslavia, I'm hoping, is going to fall. Um, what I'm also hoping is that the, uh, the uh, Soviets soon cut them off in terms of land right here because potentially they could invade all of Greece and that would be really bad for us because having all of Greece invaded could mean a lot of bad things. Uh, I would also hope that they would send a lot more troops down here and it looks like we're dealing with a massive invasion from the Finns still. The Finnish just definitely do not like us. I don't know why, but they just do not like us. Okay, hopefully the, the Soviets won't be idiots and not deal with that. I wish I could go deal with this, because honestly, that's really annoying. And apparently the Axis are slowly claiming almost everyone that is not allied with main nationalist China. I mean, that's literally the uh, Yuan. We have the um, Ganzai. I know it's like Ginzi or Klink. Uh, they're all allied with with the uh, access. That technically means now they're going to be at war with this part right over here, so we're about to see some interesting things happen, but... Hooey! I don't know, people. This is seeming pretty strong, and the Soviets are making a massive push. Come on, push it! Push it, man! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Go! Go! Come on! Get get the bone! Get the bone, people! Get the bone! No, no, no! Don't let them get the bone! Don't let them get the bone! Get the stupid bone! I don't know what the bone symbolizes in this case, because the bone could symbolize everything, but get the stupid bone! <laughs> oh my goodness. I'm watching this thinking, dear 
Dear man, lack of troops. Hmm. Let's see, how's my organization right now in terms of setup? Okay, you know what? You get disconnect from that unit, you guys disconnect, go to that unit. Okay, good. Okay, uh, let's see, what else do I need to do before, like, something really, really stupid happens? We have a couple different troops, like, just going to weird places, like, that's... No. Okay, you hook up with this unit, I guess. It's the first core? Right, yes. You guys hook up with the first core. Okay. You, that's fine. It's not that big of a deal. Let's see, you guys... Wait, is this before I even organized everything to make sure it was all kind of fanciful? Let's see. I know this one's mine. Let's see, do we have, like, random troops that are just stuck here? Oh, yeah, you guys can hook up to Madrid, because I really need you guys to be hooked up to Madrid. Because you guys are my, uh, garrison units. You guys will always defend my towns. And I don't really trust anyone else with it, so... Yeah, just hook up to Madrid. It's all fine. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, we have this unit. Hmm. Alright, seems like we might be able to make a new unit, so... Oh, yeah, this is before I made the made the new unit. Okay. Make this new unit. Have it link up to the HQ. There we go. That legitimizes it in my mind. And then, let's see. We also have another unit right here. How many do you have? You only have two. Alright. You'll get an extra unit right here. There we go. And let's see, you guys are fine over here. Yeah, you guys are all moving up. You guys are moving up. Okay. I think I got it organized the way I want it. At least I hope I do. And just so that we can like do some more stuff, I'm gonna create one more unit. It's going to be linked up with the HQ. It's going to actually have everyone over here underneath it. Why? Because I think I kinda need to separate this side of my war with that side of the war. Also, apparently, they're moving out for some reason, which is scaring me. Oh, gosh. Is they gonna... They're gonna do something stupid, aren't they? Please don't tell me they're gonna do something stupid. Please tell me they're gonna do something smart. Uh, the AI, when it comes to, like, hierarchy of how they do things. Finland has joined the Axis. That is not good. Yeah. I'm definitely not... I'm waiting... I'm waiting until we can figure out if these guys can destroy everything. The good thing, though, is that if Yugoslavia does get invaded, I mean, if Greece does get invaded, I'm hoping Yugoslavia will claim all this land. Because then, the Soviets will go get all this land, and then we can easily have a bar mitzvah or something. It'd be really nice, and cool, and sweet. Okay, let's see, though. Let's see, um, is this the HQ I want? No. This is the HQ I want. This is the one that's going to control everything. So let's see, it's the fourth core. So you guys disconnect, you guys will become part of the, uh... No, 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 no. Let's see. Let's disconnect this. Maybe I'll disconnect both of them. Uh, huh? Maybe not? Oh, I guess there's only one way to go. You can't really do any other type of creation. Hmm. That kind of stinks. I was hoping to do a little bit more. Wait. Maybe it's this way. Alright. Let's see. And then attach you guys to. Wait. And then right here. Is this how you do it? Did I do it right? Let's see. You guys for Stormy. Third core for Stormy. Third core. Let's see. Disconnect you guys. Let's go right there. Yes, I think I did it. I think I figured it out. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you guys are connected to the big core. And you guys are supposed to be the little core. So let's see. You guys connect to First Army. There we go. Okay, you guys, connect to First Army. Okay, you guys get deleted, because I don't need you anymore. Disband unit? Yes. Alright, you guys. Let's see, disconnect from here, connect to the First Army. And let me see, do I have everyone connected there? Nope. You guys also connect to the First Army. There we go. So now these guys are all connected. Oh, also you guys. Wait. I don't know what this unit's doing because it keeps moving back and forth, so I'm just going to consider it's kind of schizophrenic right now and leave it at that. Okay, let's get back to the war, though. <laughs> now that it took me a moment to organize the way I like it. Okay, uh, Soviet Union kind of doing badly, kind of doing good, I'm not sure. If they sent in more troops, I guarantee they'd probably be winning this almost hardcore, but for some reason the Yugoslavians are pushing them back pretty heavily. I mean, it's not just heavily, they are pushing them back heavily. 
Oh man. We have some resistance from the Polish right over here. Kind of cool. Okay. And then we have the uh, these guys who are just demolishing any hopes of the Soviet advancement. Can you, can Soviet Union, can you please stop letting the Finnish beat you and just go kick over the land? Seriously? It's kind of d disappointing in my own, in your own right. You can't go control them. <sighs> okay. Let's see. Let's go back over here. Yeah, it looks like we are definitely losing this, but it also, it seems like Greece just lost all of its land. And it lost all of its land to Italy! Italia had just conquered all of Greece. Yugoslavia is now... Wow. What is the base... Okay. I gotta know this. What is the base of their industry right now? Because that is just way too powerful. They just, like, completely won. Okay, can we just, like, not have any war goals with you guys? Okay, I admit, Yugoslavia is better than I thought it was. Can we just, like, become friends now, Yugoslavia? You guys are pushing us back. Oh my goodness, well, Yugoslavia will single-handedly destroy the Soviet Union line. This would be ultimately the, like, saddest moment ever, people. And I'm not even kidding you. This would be the saddest moment ever if the Yugoslavians just completely destroy the Soviet Union. I mean, I mean, this is it. They aren't even getting help from, like, the big buddies, like, of Germany and Italy. They're just doing it all by themselves. Wow. That's kind of also aggravating too at the same time, but I won't say that. Annex Greece, conquered Greece, enforced. Oh, wow. Okay, so now we have all those guys. Okay, you know what? Let's just see this. Okay, let's do this. Declare war, install a puppetry in the uh, Turkish state. There we go. And, uh, yeah. This might hurt them a little bit, but I think it's for their own good. They have to kind of fight more, and they have to kind of realize that they need to destroy these guys. So go send in more men to go fight them, and go... Seriously, go bring back the uh, stupid fin the finish before Barbosa happens. We only have a couple months before Barbosa happens. And if Barbosa happens when we're not ready, we could potentially end up very badly. Okay? I'm just saying. You need to go finish them off before Barbosa happens. Let's see. Bulgaria's back. Wow, the Soviet Union is just crushing through this line right here. Did they just take Istanbul? Did we already take Istanbul? No. We're about to go take Istanbul. That's pretty cool. Okay. And please make sure you guys strengthen this line. Please. Yeah, please go send a decent amount of soldiers down here. You actually do need it. Let's see. You guys, make sure you guys have a decent amount of soldiers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, please stop sending more soldiers over here. We actually don't need this. Oh my goodness, you guys. Uh, Soviet Union. Oh, gosh. Okay. Yeah, there's the Soviet Union, everyone. Your protectors. Let's see. We have a couple more soldiers here for uh, deployment. Let's see. Is there any, like, actual soldiers in it? Or... Nah, just HQs. Now, I don't need it. I don't need it. Okay. <laughs> Man, this is such... Oh, come on. Please tell me you guys can defeat them. This is a pretty big front. I gave you guys very big amounts of troops. You guys have already taken over Istanbul. Wow, the guys, the guys actually took over Istanbul in like a couple days. Huh. Good job, Russia. Now, please make sure you guys don't die in some horrible, stupid way. Now, please, move in and take over Yugoslavia. Okay? It was it doesn't seem that hard. I mean, the Germans did it. The Germans moved into Yugoslavia and took them over. What is so hard about you guys having trouble with that? Oh, gosh. Also with these guys too. This is something you guys actually did in real life. So please go to. Oh, come on! You guys have the advantage over here. Just go blam, blam, destroy, boom. Oh man. Strangely enough, people, I'm actually enjoying the amount of stupidity that the uh, AI is doing. It's, it's annoying me. Don't worry, people. It's annoying me to no end, but it's also quite funny. I think. Oh gosh, they're moving into to Romania now. Romania, go send your troops over there. Uh, Yugoslavia, send your troops over here and go conquer the rest of Turkey so that we can go fight the rest of uh, these guys. Make sure they don't kill you, by the way, because that'd be really bad. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we need to destroy Yugoslavia. If Yugoslavia stays alive, we could potentially have a bad juju when Germany declares war. Although, they might be alive when Germany declares war, and that might be very bad for us. Oh, gosh. Let's see, we have all of our troops spread out really stupidly again. 
I don't know what it is about the AI and stupidity, but they really like to spread it out well. Uh, yeah. And over here, no progress. They're just kind of sitting there. Portugal is just taking cheap shots at me right now, which I don't appreciate. Okay, and let's see. Production-wise, oh, we almost done with what I need to produce. Reinforcements. Increase the reinforcement rate to 3.11. Or 3.2. 3.2. There we go. Uh, we got technologies. Are we starting to run low on, t on technological advancements? No! No, we are not. We are definitely not running low on technological advancements. I think we actually will probably be the first people to discover nukes. The Spanish Republican Spain is going to be the first people to discover nukes. Alright, people, that's going to be a pretty amazing moment. Holy shoot! Can you guys make sure you guys can push them back? Thank you. <laughs> I was like, thank you. They did exactly what I wanted to do. But seriously, guys, stop letting you stop letting the stupid Yugoslavians cross through your line. Oh my goodness, really? This is quite embarrassing on all cylinders. Gusting. Okay, so we enforce puppetry on you guys. Now go send all these tubes that you have to this border and start stupid crushing the Yugoslavians. Thank you. You guys are all sending. Thank you. You're doing exactly what I said. Thank you. That's actually really cool. You guys are doing exactly what I just said. Okay, and now Turkey's gonna be on our side, which is good. We have all these troops moving into position, hopefully. Hopefully they're not going to be stupid and move out of this position. Oh my goodness. Man, you guys just... Okay. Yes. Move in the troops. Oh, and you haven't made any progress over here. Can you guys please just destroy them? Province lost. I can't really help that if they lost the provinces. We're barely holding on as it is when it comes to troops. Seriously, I would have hoped by now we would have defeated Yugoslavia, but apparently I'm wrong. My expectations for these people are too high. Oh my goodness. Go crush Yugoslavia, seriously. God dang it. We have a lot of men. We have a whole bunch of men back here. Why are we not using them? Conquer Romania. Oh, shoot. That is not good. Okay, now that it's right next to your border, will you guys go actually go send decent amount of troops to go fight them? Ugh. Heaven's sakes. Hey. Units in poor supply. Hey, look, we actually have a unit. Oh, that's kind of cool. <laughs> okay, that, oh, that really is kind of cool. We actually have a unit. Okay, now we're starting to produce about what we need, so I'm going to get some more. Okay. As we, as I slowly watch as the Russian Empire, well, I should say the Soviet Union, just lets its troops die without much care. Oh, I guess at least all of them got to a good supply line before they all died. And apparently, I'm getting some land over here, too. Huh. Weird. So, let's see. What will happen now that all their land is now conquered? I mean, right now I would say the Yugoslavians are in a bad position right now because they can't technically finish any of this line off because it's all too big. But now that it's right next to the Soviet border, the actual little Soviet border, maybe the actual Russians will take it a little bit seriously. Also, they've made absolutely no progress over here either, which is also kind of annoying me. In fact, they're getting pushed back over here. Hey guys, move in your soldiers. You literally have unlimited amounts of people. In fact, okay. Um, if Yugoslavia really wins, you know, I'm kind of worried. Kaiser Wilhelm, yay. Uh, you know, I'm kind of worried, people, that in the end, it'll turn out that Yugoslavia will automatically conquer all of Russia. I know it's not a big possibility, but this is starting to really scare me. The fact that all by themselves, the Yugoslavians are pushing back the Russian Empire. Because the Russians are being idiots and not actually sending real troops. I, 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 does anyone remember the Yugoslavians being this powerful? Because I'm seriously kind of like scratching my head here. You know what? I'm just gonna not look at that front for a little bit and just hope that the Russians will eventually pull out a win. Uh, we're gonna ma we're gonna try to manage our own front, okay? Uh, let's see. I I see I'm wasted. I'm wasting how much I see I'm according to them. 3.8. Nah, it's about good. We need to keep about that much of a head. Now we got a couple more statistics ready for us to do more uh, s do more slider stuff. So let's see. What do we need? We don't need electrical stuff. Let's see, rocket test, advanced construction, now we don't need that. Uh, we need some more ICM rating, ICM efficiency, infantry, we need to go to infantry, we need to get some more infantry, smart stuff, because 
Otherwise, our infantry will be stupid. And then as soon as they're ready... Ah, uh, as soon as they're ready, guys, I'm going to start researching atomic reactor, build my first atomic reactor, then go show up those Germans and those Yugoslavians. So, well, uh, thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.